Hi guys, welcome to another installment of Brie and Chuck D in the kitchen. Um, and um, for all of our su subscribers and followers, we definitely appreciate you. Thank you for uh, being a part of what we are sharing. And if you're new, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So today what we are making um, here with Brie and Chuck D in the kitchen is a crab boil. So it's gonna start with, um, I actually am gonna do, use four pounds of snow crab. Um, and then I found some wild caught red shrimp. And it is actually uh, from Argentina, um, the ones that I picked. And they're, all un they're uncooked and they're peeled and deveined already. So I'm gonna make sure that they get cleaned and washed up. Then I have some beef and dewey sausage, okay? And then I have the Louisiana craw, uh, crawfish and crab shrimp boil seasoning. I have some chicken broth, some uh, garlic, um, roasted garlic and herb seasoning, some, um, some complete seasoning. And then I also have garlic butter, uh, that is extremely delicious and concentrated. I also have real salted butter and I have some New Orleans style seafood and chicken seasoning. And then I also here have some uh, Himalayan Malaysian salt, okay, but we won't be um, using much of that. But I also have my corn here and then this is potatoes, uh, uh, russet potatoes that were really, really big and I went ahead and cut them each potato into fours, and then I went ahead and cut some sweet Vidalia onions up, and um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. I did go ahead and start my water to boil, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and pour. Honey, Chuck D, can you hold the camera? Okay, thanks, honey bun. Okay, so with that being said, I want to go ahead and put some of my crab boil seasoning in there. Okay, I, I'm an I'm an eyeballer, so so um, pretty much I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my complete seasoning. Like I said, I'm an eyeballer, so I just go with what I know, um, especially if I want the flavors to come out. And my roasted garlic and herb, this is from Weber. And um, keep in mind, I am not advertising for any of these companies. This is just seasonings that I like and that I use. Um, and then my New Orleans style seafood and chicken seasoning. Go ahead and get that down in there. Plenty of that, so... And get all that New Orleans style seasoning together, honey. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my chicken broth. This is my favorite kind that I use for everything. Um, and I have uh, some chunks in here, and I'm just gonna take it, kind of, you know, but I don't want too much because it's not gonna overpower anything. So, okay, <laughs> that's about all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my garlic butter. Here we go. And take a nice Scoop of that to start. Drop it in. One more scoop of that to start. Okay. And then I'll add the real butter later, but for now this is good. And then I'm just gonna take a pinch of my uh, Himalayan pink fine salt. Just a, a little bit in my palm, like this. So that's about a, a tea, a tablespoon or a teaspoon or half a tablespoon I should say okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and take my potatoes and onions and drop them on in 
they've already been washed, the potatoes. and Anything you'd like to add, honey? No, you're doing a great job, dear. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. So we're going to also go ahead and add our corn. Just remember to check us out. Bree and Chuck D in the kitchen. Go on there, check us out. Give us a like, a comment, uh, subscribe, and follow us. And then to this, we're also going to add our beef andouille sausage. That pot's getting pretty full. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're adding would be uh, pap paprika. Yep, we're adding some paprika. And this is really what gives it that beautiful color. Plenty of paprika. And by Brie being such a genius... In the kitchen, she don't need no measuring cups, no uh, measuring spoons. She pretty much eyeballs everything, and it turns out very delicious. All right. And now we're going to add the smoked sausage. The beef andouille sa uh, sausage. Their beef, as you heard her. For all those who don't eat pork or allergic to pork, they do have beef. Plenty more beef to add. As you can see, we removed some of the water because that was way too much water. How, how are we going to add all of our ingredients? Alrighty. And then we're going to give this a stir. And so we're going to cook this up. Um, and then I did go ahead and add more seasonings. Um, some garlic uh, powder. And I'm going to add a little more because the more the more flavors that you have, the better. I do have some fresh thyme that I'm going to put in there as well. And then that's some more roasted garlic seasoning. And I did add some more uh, Himalayan pink salt. And so at this point, it's, it, and then I added some more of the garlic butter. So at this point, once the potatoes cook through, um and are nice and tender and ready to eat, then I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and uh, add our seafood. So right now, um, me and my husband are gonna go ahead and clean the, the seafood and uh, let this get done. We're just gonna cover it with the lid and, uh, and we'll be back with you shortly. All right, we went ahead and cleaned our shrimp. I mean, and these are some monster shrimp. I mean, they're not the biggest shrimp that you could ever buy, but they're some really nice sized shrimp. Just look at that. And they're uncooked. They're just the wild caught red shrimp and delicious from Argentina. And then um, we did go ahead and uh, get all of our crab legs nice and cleaned. I mean, and uh, it's quite a bit of them, and they're pretty large uh, pieces, if you could see that. So just waiting on the uh, potatoes to, to, to get done so that we could uh, go ahead and add these two um, things to our uh, dish. All right, just wanting to check on what's going on in the pot right now. Oh, if you could see the actual color, it's a nice light red, but it, on here you can't see. But see, our potatoes are getting cooked. Our uh, beef andouille sausage, our onions, our uh, corn on the cob, everything is looking really delicious. Just waiting on it to get done so we can drop uh, everything else in. And I'm going to get some, uh, some other stuff prepared. Okay, so at this point, our potatoes are done. Everything is ready to go for the seafood. Uh, I, I did go ahead and put uh, some more paprika and 
garlic powder only because nothing with uh, any kind of sodium or salt because it's already seasoned very well. And we also went ahead and took a little bit of the garlic butter and um, some of the uh, some real butter that I had and we're going to melt that up for the crab legs and seafood to dip it in. I also cut up some fresh um, lemon wedges to squeeze on our seafood as well. Okay, so now it's time to drop the shrimp in. So we're going to go ahead and put these in here. Be careful putting them in. You don't want to just drop them and it pops up on you because that will hurt. Just pour it all in there. That'll be a lot easier. Now, once I get that up in there, I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick stir. Want to get it stirred all through because now we're finna go ahead and drop in our crab legs. Okay, so now we're about to go ahead and drop our crab leg in there. May not be able to get every last one up in here, but we're gonna try. Honey, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and see Okay. Kind of push Thank you, Bree. Down. No problem, honey. Okay, go ahead. Uh oh. That's fine. We're gonna get it stirred better once you get them in there. Okay, we're gonna get these stirred in and we're gonna cook it for about six minutes and they'll be done. You don't want to overcook them. Okay, so this is the finished product. We have some corn, we have our crab legs, we have our potatoes, we have our shrimp and our sausage, corn on the cob, crab legs. So everything is looking very, very delicious. So what we're going to do, oh, we also have some satiating uh, things. We got some um, tomatoes with uh, lemon juice and salt. We have some lemon wedges. We also we also have uh, avocado slices, and then we have our clarified butter. And so we're going to go ahead and dig in. And we'd like to thank you for another for uh, for subscribing and for following our videos. Bree and Chuck D in the kitchen. Follow us, like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.